Hey everyone, welcome to a very short tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use MetaHumans with your third person Unreal Engine template. It is fast, it is fun, so let's get started. Let's import our MetaHuman characters. If you didn't set up a MetaHuman character before, go to the MetaHuman character under the webpage metahuman.unrealengine.com Link is in the description also. If you have never used any MetaHumans before, it's possible that you need to log in and apply to the MetaHuman beta using an application form. But this is a very fast process and is done in a couple of minutes. So what you can do is now create a MetaHuman through the MetaHuman creator. As you can see under my MetaHumans I already have one, but you can click on create and just choose any of the templates. If you selected one you can also change it to your liking. When you are done, you will see that your newly created MetaHuman will appear under My MetaHumans. Now we can go back to our Unreal Engine third person template. And under the Quick the Bridge tab, we can click on it and go to the MetaHuman. And there we have the MetaHuman presets and My MetaHumans. If you want to download one of the characters, just click on the character, click on Download and then click on Add. So when this is done, you need to go to the MetaHumans folder. Under your MetaHuman character, you will find a blueprint. Open up this blueprint and you will see probably three errors appearing, which are missing plugins. This is just for the first time where you import your MetaHumans. For the second MetaHuman, it will not appear again because your plugins are already there. So as you can see, we have now three missing plugin errors. Just enable the missing ones. The editor will ask you to restart the engine. And now you might ask yourself how to actually change the mannequin to the MetaHuman character. Before we do anything, we just check if the MetaHuman works as we expect. Uh, open up the MetaHuman again. And yeah, the MetaHuman is appearing. Then we go to the third person blueprints and see our third person character blueprint. Open it as a full blueprint editor and open the viewport tab then open the content browser go to your metahuman and just drag the whole blueprint of the metahuman to the mesh if it's not under the mesh just drag it below you need to change the location to zero change the rotation to zero then afterwards you need to also go to the uh, mannequin mesh and check where the visible is. Yeah, so we have rendering visible. We don't need this. And for the animations, we can just go under the child actor template, live retargeting, and use live retarget mode. And we are done. Now we can compile, save, and play the game. And we have a fully, nah, not fully, Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. So we need to set the visibility based NM tick option to always tick pose and refresh bones. I'm sorry, so compile, save, and now we have a fully rigged um, metahuman character which is driven by the skeleton. And we are done. You now have a metahuman character that is fully driven by the mannequin skeleton. You can use your third person template as you like and as you know it. I hope it helped you set up metahumans. Have a nice day and see you in the next tutorial.